Hey Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in with me for this weekly message. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not apply to you, may not resonate with you because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like to get a personal with me, a personal session, personal reading, you could definitely book one with me. How to book a personal reading is listed in the description of every video. Um, so yeah, definitely look there. Um, for those who are new here, I am a psychic medium. So in personal readings, I do not use any cards or any tools it's not needed whatsoever. Um, so, uh, and also in live readings as well, you could check out live readings, live Q and A's, um, that go many years back. You could definitely look into old videos, uh, recent videos. I just start coming back here in YouTube, um, trying to get things back rolling here. Um. So yeah, definitely tune in on Wednesdays or Saturdays. Saturdays is between 1 and 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Wednesdays is between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So definitely tune in. I noticed a lot of people, have they're having issues with the notification here on my channel. They're not being notified for the videos. They're not being notified for um, the live when I go live or whatever. So uh, if you know the timing, then you could always just check around that time. So Wednesdays between 7 and 8 um uh saturdays between one and two and i'm also on patreon patreon um i provide daily messages weekly messages monthly messages uh uh chakra readings um uh, crystal readings meditation sessions uh protection as well so you definitely want to tune in over there if you're interested in any of that um you can always upgrade you know if you want to start low and then work your way up you could definitely do that I do extended readings as well for the weeklies over there. So you could definitely tune in for that. Um, but yeah, that link for Patreon is listed in the description of this video as well. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Spirit, please show us a message for Capricorn. Capricorn. What is the message for Capricorn at this time? All right, Capricorn, you have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Chemistry, there is a strong magnetic attraction. So you could be coming into or, or you could just, you know, have a strong uh, connection with someone, chemistry with someone. Um, they want you to have faith and make the effort. Um, hmm. Let's see more. This is definitely a totally different message from the muted um, video. So for those who were, you know, checking, you know, <laughs> checking on the other video, notice it was muted. Thank, thankfully, someone let me know because I had no idea. I was, I just do the video, upload it. So, but now that I know, here's part two. But we have someone wearing a mask here. We have not showing true feelings, high. Yeah, someone is definitely like possibly not. I mean, not not uh, not showing how they really feel, because it's a strong chemistry here. Um, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues, or this. Hmm. Seem like it's going somewhere else. Let's see more. Spirit, let's get a message on the present energy for Capricorn. Present energy for Capricorn. Present energy for Capricorn. Show us the present energy for Capricorn. <laughs> we do have girl with a snake. I'm led to speak on this. Empath and narcissist, um, dating, dating, charmed or used, enable boundaries. So either this is someone that you're dating, someone needs to um, enable boundaries with the ex lover, rather, or this could be you. Um, so you can move into this connection with this person, or this person needs to set boundaries with someone that they dealt with. It could be someone that they have a child or children with, or this could be someone that you have a child or children with. Let's get the present energy for Capricorn. Present energy is the tower. 
Oh, wow. Something unexpected is happening. Or maybe just reading like, what? <laughs> Chemistry? <laughs> With who? No. But some of you, you already in a connection and you're having, you know, this is a strong chemistry and someone you need to set boundaries with or they do. OK, but with this tower in the present energy, let's get more. That is Scorpio and Aries energy. Show us more on the tower. Show us more on the tower. The tower, the world. So something is shocking. Something is uh coming to a close. The ending here. And it's shocking you two major arcanas for real. Hmm. Show us more on the world and the tower for the present energy spirit. The three major arcanas. So a cycle is closing for a new cycle to begin. A renewal. So 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 for some of you, you coming together with someone. Maybe they had to close off their, you know, past situation in order to come in in connection with you. Or this is what you had to do. It's giving me like a relationship, a connection that was interrupted because of a past lover. Show me Capricorn desires. Desires. What is Capricorn desires pertaining to this? To release all toxicity. To release all toxic energies. You know, I get it. Yeah. So you can come into a healthy connection. Show us. Um. Show us what would be helpful for Capricorn pertaining to this situation. What would be helpful? Stay secretive. You know, keep your connection to yourself. Try not to, you know. I know it's like when, you, when you're when you happy or you come into a strong connection, it's like, yeah, you want to shout it to the world. But you got to keep a lot of things hidden. Trust me. You got to keep things to yourself when it comes to your connections. Because, yeah, it's always someone lingering. You know, wanting nothing but. You wanting nothing but the worst for your connection. For you. You know, because it's 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 just hate and jealousy. Um, but what would be helpful for you is to keep this a secret. Keep this hidden, this relationship. Um, what are the obstacles? What are the obstacles for Capricorn? The obstacles is healing. Healing what? Past healing from the past? Show us more. On the star in reverse. Having faith. That's your obstacle. You know what? I will say this. In a prior reading that was muted. Your obstacle. Uh, I mean that did come out as an issue for you. You not having faith. So you not having faith that you will find love. Or come into this strong chemistry. Or have the have a, have a strong connection with someone. A romantic connection with someone. Maybe you're lacking faith in that. Or you lack of faith that you and someone will renew things, come back together or something. It's something. It's different for everyone. Okay. For some of you, you release the past. You moving on to a new, newer connection. And it's issues with the past situation that need to be uh, where boundaries need to be set. But someone could be lack of faith that maybe, you know, this will, you will overcome the the issues of an ex or or they will. Let's get more on this star in reverse. Clarify the star in reverse for Capricorn. Clarify the star in reverse. The high priestess in reverse. Ooh, you're not, ooh, we. So your, your obstacles is not having faith and not following your intuition, not believing in your intuition. Because, you know, it's like, it's like your intuition is telling you, no, nah, things will work out. Everything will be fine. And then it's like, you're not following that though. You're like, nah, the way things are looking is not going to go fine, you know, or forget it. That's you, that's lacking the faith. So that is a, a major obstacle for you at this time. So show us the near future, near future for Capricorn. What's in the near future for Capricorn? You trying to balance it out. Show us more. What is in the near future with the lover? Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. Um... Someone could have Capricorn placements as well, or Scorpio. Uh, we also have Aquarius energy, Pisces as well. But uh, the outcome is, you know, things will be... The outcome is you and this person balancing things out and coming together. Okay? Falling in love, or you already in love. Let's get more on this energy. With the... Out, I mean, not the outcome, the near future. The near future. Because that's not the outcome. The outcome will be... 
Let me get more on the near future. Holding on to this connection. Show us more. Near future for Capricorn. Bring it balance. A lot of balance coming in for you. So a lot of balance is being um, placed on this connection. Wow, a lot of balance. Two of Pentacles. Justice. Six of Pentacles. That's all the all that speak of, it speaks of balance. Um hmm. Also, if you have someone, if you're not in connection, they could be holding back because of financial reasons. But for some of you, I feel like you and someone about to you about to come together. You just need to keep it secret. Um, you know, don't don't broadcast it to the world, social media. Keep people out your business. Um what you want, you can have. You just have to believe it. You have to have faith in it. You have to trust your intuition. Your intuition telling you like this is will be a good connection for me. This will be, you know, if you really feel that deeply, you know, of course don't psych yourself. If it's problems, it's red flags, you know it's red flags, then don't overlook those red flags. But I'm not getting any red flags in this message for this person. If it was, then it was and it's cleared. But right now, what they're saying is you and this person need to open up more, um, express exactly how you feel, because uh, we do have a mask here. And a mask is speaking of just not uh, being open to expressing your feelings. And that could be you, Capricorn, not really, you know, maybe you just, you know, you surface level with it because you're, you know, due to that fear of, you know, maybe this won't work or. You know, I don't want them to get the best of me or be, I don't want to be vulnerable. But no, they're saying like open up. Um, and it could be this person that needs to open up to you as well. But the near future, it looked like you and this person coming together and balancing things out. Uh, I will advise to, you know, take things slow, though, with the Knight of Pentacles coming out in the near future as well. You know, take your time with this connection. Uh, just enjoy each other, have fun and just, you know look at where it go but um someone definitely needs to keep someone out their business this could also be just like keeping this hidden from ex lovers or an ex uh or a baby mother baby father whoever is trying to tamper into your business who's trying to figure out what you got going on or you know or this is their person their ex person or whatever so yeah that's that's it I hope this brought some type of clarity to you and your situation. Um, yeah. All other messages is that will be in Patreon. Um, if you don't join Patreon at this time, you can always just wait till next week for another message. But for extended messages, is that will be in Patreon or daily messages and so forth. All right, you guys. Thank you so much and many blessings.